We have already made a movie about how to install i3 Linux Mint, 18 cinema. We've made a movie about changing the icon themes and cursor. We also made a movie how to move around um, i3, which is here. The thing you might be wondering is what's this here? Down here, this is the i3 status bar. So this movie is going to be about that specific bar at the bottom. Okay, the question is where is it? Where is the configuration file? And it's always the same. You go to the hidden folder config i3 and there you have this little file but you can't see it. So what do you do? You press Control H. Don't have to remember it. It's here. It's where is it again? View show hidden files. That being said, so you see now the i3 status bar configuration file. Double click it. We set in our configuration file, we said if we open a program, which is in this case open with, and you choose which one you take, Sublime Text, set as default, OK. Then it's going to open on this workspace. So we're going to take a look. This is a link. We copy paste it or we just Google it. And we go to this a new site. Control V. Every information you ever need will be probably on there. And you can see the documentation, view the man page online. And here you have everything you need to know about this sample configuration. You can copy paste this one because I have made my own personal configuration. And that's why it's so easy now because you're well, you have all my knowledge in one configuration file. Everything is as it should be. But now it's the time to change some little items and delete some stuff and add some stuff. Let me change the colors around, stuff like that. So how do you do that? You go back to the file here. And you have this configuration file. I have only a few items left. I deleted a lot of stuff like VLAN and stuff like that. And you can change it as well. It's all in here. So with this website, with your config file, you change the, the things you want. Let's do a change together. We have here this config file. In the config file, this is the most important file ever for i3. In this config file, you go way down under and you have here everything about the bar. Here it says status command, run i3 status, take the configuration file, and where is the configuration file? Here. So that one. So everything is being loaded from this little file. Okay. If I now, just to show you, I'll just do an enter, press hashtag, control S it. Yes, Eric. Let's close the window first. One moment. Okay, so what's the idea? The idea is just getting rid of my personal config file just by putting a hashtag in front. So it has uh, just the command run the bar. And what it gets, it's a standard configuration. And that's inter interesting to see. So Control S, Windows Shift, Run, or Reload, whatever you. Uh, here it is. So this is the standard look, and I, I I thought, wow, a lot of information that I don't need, don't want. It's not IP version six, okay, whatever. It's um, that's much gigabytes free on my uh, SSD. Fine. DHCP, yes, I know it's DHCP, I don't want it. VPN, yes, sure, I'm at home, I don't have VPN. What down, I don't know what it is. Ethernet, that's my address, I don't want to, to know it. It's whatever IP address I have, eh? DHCP. This is the speed of my network card, whatever, my NIC network interface card. 
I don't have a battery. I know that I'm on a desktop. So a lot of information is not necessary. So that's what you get when you install it via, via my scripts. You get already a shifting. So I, uh, I have already deleted a lot of stuff. Well, Control S, Windows Shift Reload. This is my code, what I want. This is my temperature, temperature in Celsius. This is my CPU working hard since I'm making a movie. That's my workloads, of course, in red. How many gigabytes I have free, the sound volume, and what day it is, what hour it is. That's all I need. So that's where all the information is. You can change the settings here, and we can also change some colors. So these colors can be changed as well, but let's tackle that in another movie.